Słuchaj, nie masz problemu fotografować mojego terenu. Jasne? Jasne, czy nie? Ty chciałby, ty chciałby mnie na napas tu. In a nutshell, exactly what happened here. It's where I lived at, right here. This is a little forest, and I am right here at this location here. Going this way, and then this way, and I did so because, guess what? I was told to pretty much find myself another location. I bumped into an old area where Chris, one of the Americans, eventually I believe he really is son in Donald Trump out of wedlock, was forced to move as first because at this location here there was just not enough place for everybody to stay. We would stay here but eventually Chris um, they would take rounds. Uh, sometimes I would have somebody stay with me at a time, somebody else, and I would be staying here. Yeah, the time came, probably, I don't know, sometimes in 2001, um, 2002. Uh, it came on him that he would eventually have to find himself a place and he did somewhere here. It was a home. Together, we would be searching for this place for him to stay in this area, very close by where we are. Um, and it was a re residence that looked somewhat like a Canadian, something like this. It's somewhere in this or this street, somewhere here, like this. And what happened was. I did stay with him at the beginning when it all start when he started this place here a few times only not I don't know what how long and this and that but a few times I did and so either I would stay with him or I would stay with someone else and if I would they would take me to him or he would come to pick me up whatever the case would be oftentimes we would head to this place especially here which is known as Institute of health uh, Polish mom mother Polka mom, Polish mom this is an old health center we visited already sometimes probably I estimate even in year 1997 I have mentioned to you the Grotniki uh, the thing about it is that not I would say 97 no no, 97 would not be the right number. But once we started the operations in Poland, like you're talking about probably then in that case, somewhere 98. And not because we would be here in this area here. No, eventually probably even 97. And it would be the heat from Grotniki that would compel many of which some were British, others were Americans, and then it was Israelis. It was all kinds of people, not even such a young people, that tried themselves walking from Grotniki to Zgierz and stuff like this. They were commuting themselves back and forth from Alexander Orlochki. Some of them would suffer a severe exhaustion. They didn't know what to do other than to bring them right here, this place here. And this is something I already have talked about. I'm not going to go into these details. Nevertheless, me being subjected to drugs under MK Ultra, I would pay visitations to this place without any doubt. Further, going toward the city, you would just have to now either cut through here which was a really good thing to do because I like it, nature, quiet. Or you would have to go like this, literally this road here, which always was congested with the vehicles. I never liked that, really. I like this uh, country roads, side roads like this, through the fields and stuff like this in peace.
They always did, and this is exactly what happened at this opportunity as well. Um, so this is how we would usually have. When we came here first with a crease, sometimes with a crease, this is another situation. Now you're talking about this residence here. This here opens sometimes in 98. Chris here, the situation I estimate probably year 2000, 2001, something like this, 2002. 2001, not 2002, 2001 I go. What you see here in this street, you see this here that you see here? There was maybe like four homes here. Maybe there was like nothing, what you see here, nothing. All this side here that you see here, nothing. Of all this four, of all this, I think, if I'm not mistaken, like this when I look from the aerial, there was like a factory or something like this, all the one, maybe one, two, something like this. I remember the crease would be talking to me, you see that, that, there is something going on. It was just nothing really. Everything you see here appeared after like 2002, 2003. It would start to grow like a mushrooms out of nowhere. Eventually, it would gain tremendous uh, momentum and people that were here no longer would even recognize the area they they couldn't they they just became confused about the streets it was it it took a completely different side from what it used to be something i have already explained about what this area also was changed I already did the video on that. I will not waste my time on that stuff. What's going on with this here? No. This is here is what's going on. You had... I was here looking for the place. Right in, along the street here. But the dumb... But what caught my attention is a big ass warehouse from Jeff Bezos. This warehouse now appears to be located exactly here on this spot here that you see somewhere here like this and it's a big big huge giant ass warehouse once i have observed this warehouse from here i just did go like this something like that and i realized this is like a big chunk here missing for me to get there it would not pay me off you can see this like a clear stuff i don't know where this when this thing was taken but i can guarantee you uh it does not look like that to get to that sunny area right there you would have to fight a lot of jungle and eventually you would come out here uh really dirty and you're talking about 50 meters is this distance here if i zoom myself out uh, you can see it yourself all right you can see this here this this here this is a 200 meters so you're talking about beating the distance of Probably about maybe even like 600 meters something like this to get to this place here so what i did was i did something else i said you know what let me go and i'm gonna head through my old route i know and i did so i would go like eventually not here it was something like this i did this this and this and this and then this here this is what i would stop and head up here straight on this dusty field road if you want watching on my right side a big ass warehouse big ass warehouse now I did bump into what you see right here. This, however, is the property I am referring to. This property here is gated property, which gates were wide, wide, wide open. Um, the road you see here, this road like this, this here, this isn't something he would just go and use. Uh, this, in the middle of the day like this, evidently, it became evident that this is not any kind of coincidence. It was a trap. It was just 
nothing other than a setup. I didn't have to bother here. This is a doghouse right here. I didn't have to bother much. Uh, I was just going to do the same thing I did many, many times before that with Chris. And that's basically just go by and on the other side exit and go out on the street and proceed further down the street, basically. But this time it did not go so smooth. And in fact, I was actually even hoping to bump in somebody and eventually an owner here I could talk to. Uh, ask him about changes that took place on his own property because this individual was involved in MK Ultra. I had this was a crazy place really, but I don't like to think about the crazy stuff people did under MK Ultra. And you can trust me on that. It's people here who did crazy stuff, and I'll tell you straight, they don't like to even remind themselves of anything like this. Um, they kind of ask me to just please not see that like it never happened and I am a person like this that I'm not a person that will want to go and warm up uh, something from the past unless I see some kind of disrespectful behavior uh, if I would see that person is displaying some kind of a disrespectful behavior toward what one have done against me in the past and have I'm not gonna say no remorse but really something else then i approach situation differently but other than that i'm just see myself as a regular person visiting friends from the past something like this in that sense as i enter this property a dog you're going to hear barked and i indicate on original audio recording that it entered the property i just proceed like this, just as you see the arrow here towards, without wasting time, till up to here, up to this point here. This is eventually where you stop, and I eye the gate in front of me right there to be close, to be locked. I don't feel really correct about just going through here and <clears throat> not even saying hello to the person or something like this. And I try to get intention from anyone in the vicinity. Um, I say hello, hi, anyone here, hello. And I don't get any kind of feedback. And for that matter, I felt that I should not even proceed toward the gate or something like this. Because this could actually give the wrong impression. I feel that maybe I did something wrong. And I turn around, eventually I start walking back toward the area where I entered, toward this gate. I just make few steps in this direction on what I hear. Someone um, from the garage, a man comes out. Uh, and this man is everything but polite or anything like this. He just wants me to leave and he would not allow me to even say anything whether i would be in emergency or whatever the situation could be this man did not care this man just wanted me to leave he was not interested in absolutely anything go and okay i really did so i proceeded to go out but then i see his home and i remind myself he's involved in mk Ultra. i said but sir can i just ask you a question I was just going to say, see maybe if he does want to speak somehow with me. I do speak Polish enough for us to be able to normally, in a normal tone, to interchange if he would be willing to in a conversation maybe or something. But he's not. He becomes insultive. He even states that I should get lost to my country and stuff like that. He becomes really, really insultive. I do not return to his language. I do not return to his insults and instead I proceed towards actually I tell him okay okay then okay goodbye and as I am walking toward this gate this man however no way uh, not only he does not stop since I'm walking out of here but he is insulted he catches up with me 
right here at the gate. And that's basically once I am out of the gate, out of the gated area, which that day, as you have seen, was wide open, standing right here at the entrance. I tell him, listen, sir, I'm outside of your gated area, and I, I'm trying to tell the man to please not follow me, to please take a distance from me. But he's not interested in this. He is actually interested in a dispute, in a physical confrontation. He pushes me. Uh, he yells at me. He is extremely nasty. I'm not going to say that he pushes me, but yeah, kind of touches me. And more than anything, he keeps yelling on me like I am not even a human being. Because of this kind of attitude, I told him in the face, I will be back. I know who you are. I know what you have done. And I will, I will be back. If I don't like the way you talk to me and so on and so forth. He is not interested in allowing me to leave the property. As I am leaving the property, this man continued to follow me and pass, I would say, at least distance of, let's see, 5, 10, yeah, I say about 15 meters right here, at least. Um, eventually, he slaps the telephone out of my hands. He wants clearly a physical confrontation and pushes me. It's when I had enough, I take the glasses down and put the backpack down. Um, this was the second assault, therefore. I approached to him and just want to see what exactly he's going to do because he waves the hands. He did touch me. He did push me. And so I touch him. I start pushing him. I said, let's go. Show me now. He instead stops. At that point, what I do is I proceed, I take the glasses again, I pick them up, I pick them back up, you know, I'm like, just go, hey, you know, get lost. And I proceed my way out. Now, he runs over there, at this place here, inside of his barn, or whatever that is, and comes out with a hay, with a base from the hay. And he keeps following me around, and probably this would match the distance of about 20, 25 meters. I eventually stop. I eventually stop. I don't go away anymore now at this time. And I take the camera and start recording him, because for me it's important, essential, eventually that I record the distance between him and the gate, the gated property which he exited, because this guy clearly stalks me now. <laughs> now he stalks me eventually with something in his hands, attempting to escalate the physical confrontation. Obviously, this guy is not worried for the safety. Never mind that he would be interested in helping anybody, but he is not worried for the safety. This guy engages in a trap, which he set together with his friend, police officer, who is the investigating police officer of my case, which I have uh, reported to the state prosecutor over four months ago, ladies and gentlemen. The two knew each other very well. This police officer visited this property sometimes in 2008, 2010. They had a really, really violent Shizo scenario. MK Ultra scenario here, getting me inside of the house, threat me, they're not going to allow me to go out, then threat me all kinds of stuff that, that he's going to beat me up. Have demonstrated me on that MK Ultra how he was beating up something else with this thing that this is what you're going to be running for your life when you see me coming with the stuff like this and this and that. This is pretty much what happened on, this is exactly what happened on July the 28th of 2020. There is nothing else to add to that. This property is not some isolated property or anything like this. This is located actually in the middle of the city. 
this is not located, ladies and gentlemen, somewhere in the country, somewhere away from God knows where. This is the city of Lodz right here. And such stuff actually eventually in front of the Institute of Health right here. Um, a big ass warehouse. Uh, I got a feeling there's a lot of homes not even listed here. Um, this warehouse, however, is new. I don't know where this is from Google Maps. You cannot even see this giant warehouse from Amazon. Uh, three assaults, basically. One assault, and it was it was physical. On three occasions, was physical. With second one actually hitting me in my hand enough to for me to drop the telephone slapping the telephone out of my hands first one right here outside of the gated area then a second one probably about 15 meters away from the gated area and then another one between 20 25 meters further down when man would keep following me and have attempted to attack me with you know something that really could escalate into even deadly accident with my saying this, I will charge a police officer involved in this situation with a murder attempt. The police officer I'm referring to is an acting police officer from a main police headquarters in Luoch. Yeah, I don't have the internet connection. Now the point here is this individual I did contact with him through the phone once at the beginning. I gave him, I passed him along my new location, which is this location here. And I have made a report about a car scam over four months ago. Uh, and gave him my telephone number, everything, just as I did in a personal meeting with him, just to never heard from him. Eventually, even when I would call him to find out what's going on, this man does not return phone calls he is just like i don't exist anymore and he was a great deal in my eventually even losing trust with the polish police knowing that two are friends that he is involved actually in this plot here is what made me took a very hard stand against this whole thing I really wasn't sure anymore on what even to do in this case, but now I do. This individual I'm talking about is, well, if we go here, talking about the police officer. Uh, you're talking about right here, Commissariat Polizzi, basically. You're talking about this place right here. So that they were involved in this thing. Yes. Okay. But with this act, with this kind of stuff that you bring literally lives into a danger. He's employed in this facility here. For me, this is enough. It's, it, it terminates all my trust as far as this police officer and i will deal with him in a different form i'm going to put it this way i want to be very very specific about all this stuff it's like this daniel smith psychologist american psychologist who was here he was asking the people who were oftentimes no, oftentimes not. It was a lot of nice people, but there were also cookies that came up with extremely violent scenarios. Extremely violent, derogatory, humiliating scenarios. Like you would not believe scenarios. Ask them, please, do not, when you see him in real time, do not even try to humiliate. Do not even try to insult. Do not even try to in any way now finally i did lost 25 years of life because of this thing here because of this mk ultra case now 
psychologist Daniel Smith would go on to explain them. You know, he stated to quite a few of them this, don't become a Pollock who's going to pay for it all. And that probably explained, well, if you have three grains, rice grains of brain, that should probably explain you the situation, how the situation was. I was not a happy customer to ask anyone about what happened, and I'm not. I'm going to tell you straight about what happened in Poland. I'm not happy about it. But I go along like a completely normal person unless I see somebody with a behavior like this one. Unless I see somebody literally laughing in my face or something like that, humiliating. It was like this. It did happen. It did not happen a lot. It did happen, however, once or twice maybe during this last two years that I did have people attempting to even humiliate. And then it, was, it turned very unpleasant. But still, under the given circumstances, no person, normal person, would act in any different way I did. I matched my behavior, in fact, compared one to what any reasonable, in a way, any reasonable individual would act if at least he was somehow willing, capable, I should say, to stand up for himself in a given situation, disregarding eventually even MK Ultra situation. The behavior itself on an individual was so insultive, so derogatory, based on already if I would be just a regular human being that I would somehow find myself in that property, uh, I deem I would act in a completely same manner I did. This is a completely normal way, the way I have conducted myself. Uh, it's very, very important to accent that MKUltra, in fact, did not have any kind of detrimental decision-making process on me in this case. Now that I will follow up on him, just as I have promised, because of this kind of behavior like this, um, that I'm going to have to tell you I'm not just anybody. I will. Once I promise you to do something like this, I will do my best to fulfill my promise. If you pay close attention to the words this individual is using, if you pay close attention to my behavior, my wish to distance myself from property, and the way he does it, the way he goes after me, and he's just assaulting me with, in his language, with his behavior, you're going to see that he is, in fact, using that he have a deep knowledge about who I am, wasn't that gate open over there by coincidence. And he's looking for any kind of opportunity that he would be given so that he could escalate this into something completely different, basically. And yeah, you never know eventually what this possibly could escalate. So he's using MK Ultra, previous MK Ultra procedure, torture, according to the police instructions. He is using this, I'm not going to say at his advantage, but at advantage of whoever ordered him to do such a thing in order to escalate this to pos into possibly deadly conflict. Yes, this is a plot. Precisely what happened. I walked through the wide open gate right inside. My intention was just to enter and exit on the other side where there is a front gate, since the gate was so generously open. And since I knew the place from the past, I was hoping eventually I would even meet somebody and maybe talk to somebody a little bit about the past. And once I realized the gate, the front gate was closed, um, I actually stopped and I voiced, I announced myself or that I was trying to 
catch maybe a human soul, attention of a human soul, human being somewhere, like I said. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe they would allow me to go to the, the gate, out through the gate. Uh, but then again, if not, I myself already headed back toward the exit, uh, toward the gate uh, through which I entered the property. And what the owner of the property, like I said, was this individual is, he inherited this property from his mama. I'm not even saying parents, it was a mama, uh, from according to my memory, that left him, uh, that gave him the property, literally. And he also was the first person who started with construction in this area. There was nothing that went on in this area, nothing, nothing, nothing. Sometimes in 2000, 2001, there was no house over there, as you're about to see. Uh, and he was the one who started to play around over there, started to throw some bricks together and started eventually to build. Um, and then before you know, within the next two years that followed, it was first one house that appeared and the next one, next one, next one. And they told me, this is just unbelievable. This no longer is recognizable. If I would come here, they said Americans, they told me you are missing out you will not even remember anything in this and that. Yes, this is the way it is. He was involved in MK Ultra, uh, and unfortunately, he did stick to what he had promised me he would. This is completely unfortunate, uh, completely unfortunate circumstances as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so I'll do this again. I enter through the gate, through the back gate, wide open, I go inside, I don't actually even proceed once I try to get, I see the front gate locked, um, I try to get attention from someone, I don't get any attention, and so what I do is, I don't want to go and test the front gate if the gate is uh, you know, locked or unlocked or something like this, I felt that, uh, you know, I was hoping that the gate would be open because this used to be the case. It would allow us to basically go through. And so the gate, I see from the distance, is not even open. I turn it on on my own, nobody's around, and I walk back toward the entrance, the rear, the back entrance. As I walk back, I hear individual. Um, he gives me sign of the presence, and I am nice to him. I am hello. I continue to be really nice to him. Um, I already, he is not willing to talk to me. Uh, he said, you must go right where you entered inside. Uh, you're not supposed to. Uh, be here, you have to go. I said, okay, I understand. Okay, then thank you in that case. I leave. And I just wanted to ask him about the house. I said, sir, can I ask you just a question about the house? And basically that's when he goes completely off uh, on me, start yelling, start screaming. Did you inappropriate language in respect to me as for being foreigner in Poland that I should get lost to my country. Um, at this time, individual, as I'm walking back toward the gate because I see that this is, this is mindless, man. It's not, it's not normal individual. I don't answer him with absolutely any provocation, anything. But this guy, he wants confrontation. He just goes after me really, really aggressive, like in a way that he will attack me a little bit. And I say nothing. I just go out. I try to calm him down, in fact. I don't, sure, I'm leaving. It's no problem. Okay, goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. 
but he keeps going and right at the exit once I am already out of the property that's basically when I cross the gate which was wide open he eventually assaults me he starts to push me and yell at me and it's basically when I tell him go back inside I tell him I'm no longer inside of your property you're gonna hear this and because of his tone the way he raised the tone on me because he's really being nasty behaving like some kind of trooper or something like this at a cadet school or something like this I let him know he no longer is I'm no longer inside of his gated property and I actually ordered him back I actually let him get lost go away from me go back go inside and I do this in a completely different form not like this I am I return him back the same way he is toward me without any fear oh the guy is taller than myself chunky guy uh, I get the feeling about information as for being violent duck this individual I get an idea about people like this I don't respect in particular I'll tell you I think the people like this are no good I think the people like this abuse their wives I think they are wife beaters I think they are they abuse children I think they're just violent thugs uh, and they just need someone eventually to put them in the right place I think I think that it goes like this oftentimes unfortunately that never happens sometimes you're gonna have family members report them to the police because oftentimes the people like this will avoid doing something like this in a social environment where they are seen they will avoid stuff like this doing stuff like this and they will only engage in stuff like this whenever they have a backup whenever they feel comfortable doing stuff like this to somebody and they know they can get away with which in this case I felt it's the property that gave him you know this kind of feel like that he can do this to a stranger just like that and so yes right when you hear me when I when I completely change the tone when you already hear me saying get out go inside go away from me this and that go inside I'll be back to you I know you you tortured me I will be back to you here I tell him that's already when I am standing outside of his gated property then he claims entire heel everything behind him is his that's okay too I turn around I walk away I disregard him eventually he follows me about probably I would say 15 10 meters or something like this from there uh, 15 10 15 meters outside of the gate already you can see he goes and both uh, started to push me and I put the telephone out and I started to record I wanted to record how far the man is from his property acting violently basically stalking me pushing me and acting violently before I actually take action again against him uh, what he does is he goes and he boom he smacks my hand the telephone fell is thrown in the grass I pick up the telephone and I'm now decided to take the glasses down and beat him up a little bit I take the glasses down I put the backpack backpack down I get into his face and I start to see what uh, his technique is basically see if I can actually knock him out a little bit like this if I can actually beat him up right there he comes down instead he turns around he walks inside on his property he runs to his property for uh, a hay a base from the hay that's bigger than a baseball bat much more dangerous too longer 
and yeah, just as strong, just as bad, actually worse, I think. And he is returning back now at this point in time. Individual is probably, I'm already, maybe, I estimate maybe even 20 plus meters away from, 25 meters approximately away from this property and he rushes after me. I stop and I don't run the way he anticipated. I'm going to run. He promised me on, on the empty I'm going to be running for my life. I don't run. Instead, I'm happy. I'm happy because I got approved. I pulled the phone out again and I start to record. Then when he comes close enough to me, I put the telephone down and I put the glasses down. I put the backpack down and I really wanted to feel what it feels to be hit with a hate base because I was determined to beat him up with a thing for the first time that he's going to do, take this away from his hand and show him once in his lifetime what it means to threaten and what it means to act like a violent duck to the real man. There is no running here. I go straight into his face. I tell him, go. Go inside before something bad is going to happen. He talks about something about police. I tell him, you want no police? I'll get you the police right now. I'll call you the police right now. You want the police right now? I'll call you the police right now. I continue. He goes away. I pick up my stuff and I go. Actually, I was the one. I turn around. He would not stop. He would just like this. Right next to me. He would put the hand like this and point out. Go. Oh, you must go. Oh. Private property. I don't know what. It became obvious he's not going to touch, he's not going to do anything. We, hey, he waved back and forth, but he didn't dare to touch because he knew what's going to happen. Okay, I go, I pick up my backpack and I leave basically. He was told and he can count on that, I will be back. Okay. Not that I would threaten or something like this, but through the police, through the court, eventually He's going to have to pay me his dues for what he had done to me under MT Yorkshire. This is the man I will follow up on him. Um, I don't care about people, whatever happened under MT Yorkshire. I don't really care about that kind of stuff. Uh, but for this kind of behavior, for some kind of aggressive uh, behavior like this, just because something like this, I'll give you a payback for that matter. Uh, three times he assaulted, three times, and it was just three times he had done it outside of his property. I should say outside of his gated property. I'm not saying not in his property, which I was not aware of it because there was no sign, there was nothing anywhere posted. Outside of his gated property. With his gate being open and my not being aware that, how am I going to be aware that if the gate is open like this, that and there is no sign, anything, anything that would suggest me that I'm not allowed to uh, enter inside of the property. The dog was eventually inside of the cage locked. There was not even a dog anywhere in the, on the leash or anything like this. That I will encounter something like this completely wild over that. Um, that's that, that basically that happened. On Tuesday, July 28, 2020. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more to it. The next what's going to follow up on this now, it's going to be one more time. I'm going to repeat you the video. Uh, for the first time, the first first time when he assaulted me, you don't, I, I tried to pull the, it. It became to me clearly that because he would not allow me to even say anything. He was just screaming at me. It became clear to me that it's the best for me to pull the telephone out and start to record that I'm outside of the property. And by the time I would do this, I said, fuck it, let me just walk away from, from my asshole. But he would just follow me out and would just go after me.
first time outside of his gated property, second time outside of the, his gated property, and third time start me with idea, obviously to hurt me with a hate base. That is a no-no. Słuchaj, nie ma powodu fotografować mojego terenu. Jasne? Jasne, czy nie? Ty chciałby, ty chciałby mnie na napas tu. Byłem tu. Znaczy, no, no znaczy co się stało. Ja byłem tu tam w roku 2002, czy 2004, czy 2004. I tu mogło się swobodno. Tutaj nie było nigdy drogi przejścia. Wypierdzielaj mi stąd i nigdy na mnie nie Jeszcze tego doma tam nie było. Człowiek, ty jesteś kurwa chory, czy w ustu, się nie mówi? Wypierdzielaj mi stąd. Nie, ja jestem na twojej ziemi. Ja nie, to jest samo moje. A tam na ulicy, czyli na mojej kurwa ziemi. Ja byś chciał wiedzieć. Czajesz klimaty? Tam, korzyść przy las. Czajesz klimat? Nie, czy ja potrafię wrócić. Czajesz? No. Nie, czy będziemy coś tu sprzeczyć. Wypierdzielaj mi, to jest ten prywatny. Rozumiesz? Słuchaj, gościu. To jest ten prywatny, rozumiesz to? Rozumiesz, co ci mówię? A rozumiesz, co ci mówię? No pamiętasz? Tam jest droga. 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 Będziesz pamiętasz? Tam jest droga. Jeszcze sobie będzie na Tam jest droga. policję? Pytam się, kurwa, czy zadzwoni po policję? Pytam się. Jeszcze sobie będzie na przykład. Wypierdzielaj tam. Bym ci nic więcej nie widział. A ty chodzisz, kurwa, mi skręci. Kurwa, będę. Jeszcze sobie będzie na przykład. Wypierdzielaj tam. Biegiem. Na kopa się wyjedę. Wypierdzielaj stąd! Biegiem! 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 Tam! Do ulicy! Chciałem kupę wyprowadzić! Pytam się! Tam do ulicy! Na moim terenie co, co, co jesteś. jesteś! Na moim co terenie jesteś! jesteś. Dzwonimy policję! Dzwoń! Proszę bardzo! Stajcie mogę począć gdzieś kurwa tych lat! Biegiem! Słuchaj! Nie ma prawa fotografować mojego terenu! Jasne? Jasne, czy nie? Tam. 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 Nie wiesz, co to mojego teraz. Co ty
Ti chcel by mene napas tu. Pane mi srdec, nemá čo veľmi nagrybať. A teraz budeš na policie, vaši ty. Ne, ne, ja zvolne po policie. Zvolne po policie, bo nagrybáš môj terén prípad, rozumieš to? Ja zvolne po policie teraz. Som sa tiež šťastiem. Ja zvolne po policie teraz. Príde policie. Zvolň. Tako dám ti ulici, kde môj terén, jeste? Nie na môj kurva terén. Príde policie teraz. Nie na môj terén. Na tvoj terén príde policie. Tam sa môžeš zbíš. Na tvoj terén, po tebe. Bude, ako nie bane, vy
this thing, as a matter of fact, organized in by the police. I was told they will be filming one. This is a friend of Chris. They will be filming one literally from the hospital that you have seen right there. This is how this goes. So, good stuff. He did not even make a point with something in his hands. Not even this. Not even this he dared to touch. He did push my telephone out of my hands though, and he did stalk me, he followed me, and pushed me and stuff like that, so... If I would hit the man, you know, I'm going to make a video recording of the hospital I'm talking about. This is a business report. So this guy promised me on the MTR for this experience. Uh, he did have the gates open, but this isn't the end to win this case, not even this. We have a game in the hospital, and that's what I was told, they're going to be filming this delivery from the hospital. Still heading on my way toward this uh, company. I think it's a Dutch company. Uh, July the 20th, 2020. We at least got some actions that makes things more interesting.